Good morning dear friends and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I am before you uh for this meditation after a week. I have been traveling for ministry and I thank you for your patience and thank you for your prayers. This is a grand new day and the Lord's faithfulness and mercies have given us this day to live and glorify him remember each day is a gift from god and he has permitted us to enter into this new day trusting that we will glorify him and exalt him this day and so let us begin our day with a meditation a small meditation from first kings chapter 17 First King chapter 17 verses 7 to 16 and I would like to read it for you so that you can be refreshed and uh, uh, understand easily what I am going to meditate and after a while the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land then the word of the Lord came to him Arise go to Sarephath which belongs to Sidon and dwell there behold i have commanded a widow there to feed you so he arose and went to Sarephath and when he came to the gate of the city behold a widow was there gathering sticks and he called to her and said bring me a little water in a vessel that i may drink and as she was going to bring it he called to her and said bring me a morsel of bread in your hand and she said as the lord your god lives i have nothing baked only a handful of flour in a jar and a little oil in a jug and now i am gathering a couple of sticks that i may go in and to prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die and elijah said to her do not fear go and do as you have said but first make me a little cake of it and bring it to me and afterward make something for yourself and your son for thus says the lord the god of israel the jar of flour shall not be spent and the jug of oil shall not be empty until the day that the lord sends rain upon the earth and she went and did as elijah said and she and he and her household ate for many days the jar of flour was not spent neither did the jug of oil become empty according to the word of the lord that he spoke by elijah now as god's people we walk by faith and not by sight almost 12 months elijah stayed by the brook the prophet now receives another call a second call the first call was for him to spend Uh, his days near this brook and so let me uh, let me bring to your attention a few things concerning this episode the time of the second call and it says here after the brook dried up when god closes one door he opens another for his servant always remember therefore do not be frightened or get anxious when you see one door is closed for you i am talking to those who walk by faith in obedience to god and worshiping god in the name of the lord jesus christ to sit by and watch the drying brook is a trying time indeed 
that brook represent the only source of survival for you or for anyone who may be listening to me and then suddenly you begin to see that that brook that source is slowly slowly coming becoming less and less and less the present comfort may dry up the brook of worldly prosperity may dry up the brook of self confidence may dry may dry up and we feel utterly helpless and my friends that moment when ultimately it is completely dried that's the time god steps in and it is now god's opportunity to show himself to you but it happened to those who in obedience to god will live and do what god has called you for it doesn't depend on our circumstance and at that time when the brook was completely dry there was a command and that command says arise and go to zarephath verse 9 When the brook became silent then God spoke You know Sarephath means a smelting house a place of fiery trials Elijah is known as the prophet of fire and now he himself is called upon to go through the refining furnace because Arafat lies 100 miles of journey through the famine stricken countryside imagine that there is no chariot there is no uh, conveyance nothing he has to walk Now how was he going to do it? And also away from the shady brook through the sun scorched field. This must have been a baptism of fire. He was commanded to to go to Zarephath but the journey period it you can imagine 100 not kilometers but 100 miles walking through the sun scorched desert kind of land and walking all the way and I, it reminds us of the disciples who were commanded by Jesus to go to the other side of the lake but the journey itself he didn't mention anything else and without any doubt they started off in their boat but what happened halfway through you know very well a terrible a killer storm hit the boat now mind you these disciples who are well acquainted with the with the rivers and seas and they have faced many storms in the far past but this particular storm they could not handle it and they were drowning and it was at that that was jesus as opportunity jesus was not with them or in another occasion Jesus was there in the boat but he was sleeping and through the storm can you imagine Jesus was having a comfortable sleep storms and hurricanes 
and the drought nothing will disturb jesus but what disturb jesus is the lack of faith in his disciples and my friends the lord has told us to trust him and believe in him and follow him and serve him and worship him but the life that we have to live in this pilgrim journey what happens on the way he has not revealed to us as we take the step of faith it will be revealed so do not be afraid and this is the two points i am considering we have few more points which we shall do on thursday but today as you begin your life you do not know what is ahead of you it is not revealed to you and if you are a man of god you know how to walk we live by faith not by seeing but by faith knowing that each step will take us to the next step one step at a time do not be afraid therefore the lord is watching he knows where you are and what you are going through and what your need is and what your feelings are and some of you may be thinking that i have come to the end of myself i do not know what else to do and here i am perhaps you are physically sick and you are lying and the doctors all tried but they have given their verdict we have done everything we could and you do not know what to do that is all right god so opportunity to deal with you has come and he will step in listen to him god bless you he is an ever present help in trouble lord we need the holy spirit to live this life we need the spirit of god to move along with us and we may not see what is lying ahead but we thank you for the presence of the good shepherd who goes ahead of us so lord may we have that confidence as we begin our day we commit ourselves and our situations are all in your hand thank you in jesus name amen god bless you dear friends so this is a great day and enjoy this day and at the end give glory and honor to god amen